welcome to day two of CMA Shipping. We're on day two of three here in Stamford, Connecticut. My name is Emma Howell. I'm media director of Sea Trade Maritime News, and I'm delighted to welcome this afternoon Tina. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tina Rain, and I'm the director of commercialization for carbon markets at World Connect Energy Services, the sustainability division at World Fuel Services. With renewable fuels still years off, what can companies do today to impact their sustainability journey? There's actually a lot that they can do. They really need to start with developing a plan. And part of that includes figuring out where they are right now in terms of their emissions. We call it developing a carbon footprint report. And that's really understanding your baseline of emissions. They can also find ways to reduce their energy use and reduce the use of fossil fuels. Now, I know that's a ways off in the future, but if they can start to look at that and gauge where they will go next. From there, they can also source renewable energy for any of their terminals and their on-land use. And finally, they can bridge the gap in their emissions by using offsets. Carbon offsets are a great bridging mechanism until they can find ways to further reduce. How will EU ETS schemes affect maritime? The biggest impact that it will have is, of course, on their balance sheet. It's going to be a big cost for them. Also, they really will have to take the time to understand the mechanism since they're new to the EU ETS. And that will include understanding whether they can bank allowances, how far out into the future they can use allowances, and all the underlying aspects of the mechanism. What role does WorldConnect play in sustainability and how can they help? There are several ways that we can help. One is with the carbon footprint reporting and understanding your different scopes of emissions, scope one, two, and three, and what data fits into each of those scopes. We can also help with the sourcing of offsets to use as the bridging mechanism to show your constituents and your customers that you are taking action on reducing emissions. I see you supplied offsets to NCL. Can you describe how this assisted them and why they are using offsets? NCL being a consumer facing company really needed to show their stakeholders and their customers, hey, we are taking our emissions seriously and we do have a sustainability plan in place. As we all know, those renewable fuels aren't quite there yet as an option. So in the interim, they chose to use offsets as a bridging mechanism to get the message out to the world. We are addressing our emissions. We do take this seriously. Thank you, Tina. That was an incredibly interesting conversation. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your time at CMA Shipping. And thanks again for everything and your time. Thanks, Emma. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. I'm really enjoying the conference. Great.